In this project, we will learn a baby catch game. So here's what we are going to create. We will have a screen like this where you will have a baby and a ball and once we hit the start button, the ball will fall randomly from the top and the baby has to catch the ball. So when the baby catches the ball, it laughs and when the baby can't catch the ball, it cries and the game ends. This game is actually based on another game that some professors in, in Georgia Tech created and they used a programming language called Scratch to create that game. Scratch is another programming language just like App Inventor where you drag and drop blocks to create your program. And this pictures, the background picture, the picture of the baby and the ball and all the sounds that I'm going to use in this tutorial are actually obtained from the Scratch program itself. So let's now see how we create our own baby catch game like this. So I'll just create a new project. And I'll call it Baby Catch by Roy. Now I have already downloaded several pictures and I've already obtained a whole bunch of pictures and sounds from the scratch program that I'm going to use now as I was saying before so I'm going to use this picture of the baby the two sound files the ball and the background so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload all those media So I'm going to upload all of them at one go together and then we are going to use the use those things. So I'm uploading out all, all the pictures first and then I'll upload the two sound files. So now the very first thing that we're going to do is just like the palm game, create, drag a canvas onto our screen and we'll set the width of our canvas to fill parent and we'll set the height to 400 pixels. We'll also change the background of this canvas. We will add two image sprite, one for the baby and one for the ball. and we are going to rename both the sprites and set their pictures to the appropriate picture. We're also going to add two sounds for the laugh and the cry and we're going to call them laugh and cry. Well, that sound maybe. We're going to set its source to the sound file that I have downloaded before. Similarly, we are going to rename and set the source of the second sound file. I'll also add a button that I'm going to use to start the game. So I'll call this start button. And I'm going to rename the button to Start button. So this completes all the elements that we are going to use in our game and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to program it in the block editor.